What is going on, guys? It's Ben here. In today's video, we are going to be playing a grand challenge, playing with this battle deck right here to see how it fares against even level cards, because as you guys know, we are max level. Uh, but also, we have some interesting news. There was this chest offer that was available for, it was like a, it was kind of like a glitch, it seems like. I don't really exactly know. It was just very weird. A lot of people were only saying originally this was only released for Japan, but it was for the New Year's chest offers. So I'm going to show some pictures right here and just look at these chest offers. So the first one I'm going to show you, it is in English. So it says, Happy New Year, new offer from Clash Royale. And you can see it's 500 gems for a giant chest and 500 gems. So basically you spend 500 gems, you get 500 gems back and you get a giant chest. And then there was one for 1200 gems for 1200 gems and a magical chest. So basically you spend 1200 gems, you get 1200 gems and a free magical chest. And the last one was 2,500 gems. You get 2,500 gems back and you get a super magical chest. So this was the offer that was showing up in people's, well not everyone's, because I didn't see this offer. A lot of people in the United States didn't. A lot of people were saying it was mainly Japan players that were getting this offer. Uh, and someone did actually end up completing the picture. So as you can see, it does look like Japan themed, obviously with all of like signature things from that, or like the region and everything. So you can see like the the, the king is holding down like the, the wafer thing. I don't even know what it's called, the fan. <laughs> What did I just say? The wafer? And then also the chicken got a nice little hat on the back there. Uh, but if you look over to the offer now, we go back into Japan and stuff. It's in yen there and can't really... Well, obviously I know what it is, but if I didn't know what the text says, I wouldn't be able to decipher it. But yeah, mainly they said that they got the offer. Uh, I got all this information for Reddit, by the way, but a lot of people were saying in the United States they saw this offer and then like they got it taken away and then their gems got taken away like they had negative gems from purchasing this uh and a lot of them were saying well, well con like basically they're saying i'm going to contact this board try and get my gems back but do you think they're lying or do you think this actually only showed up in japanese because obviously if it's on reddit it's not fully supercell really hasn't, really hasn't said anything about this um maybe it was a mistake by them giving them and showing this offer anyways because like it doesn't really make sense to spend 500 gems and you get 500 gems back. Basically, they're just giving out. Like, I mean, Supercell has given us some pretty decent offers in the past. Where it's like, if you if you spend like, I don't know, $10, you would get the 1,200 gems and a chest. But they would never do it like a fair gem trade. Where basically, you spend nothing, you get your gems back, and you get a free chest. Like, that's basically handing out a super magical chest. You just have to have that gem, the gems to begin with. Um, but I think maybe they didn't realize that and then they're like, oh crap, we got to take away this offer and then give back the rewards. Because what people were saying on Reddit was for those of the people that have bought the chest, that the rewards from the chest were taken away, like the cards that they got and their gems were taken away and they were not given their gems back. Now, I can't confirm if that is exactly what happened, if people were just making that up. But obviously this chest offer was in the, in the game at some point. But it was taken away and it wasn't released worldwide though. That was kind of the thing. Maybe maybe they just thought it was so good an offer that maybe 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 Japan just deserved it. I don't really know. Uh, but obviously I think if, if people did end up losing their gems like that, and if if you were a person that actually did end up losing your gems, contact support and they'll get it figured out for you. Supercell is pretty good at that. Uh, but if if it really didn't happen and those people are just trolling, it is what it is. <laughs> I would just hate to have negative gems, but I know it's it's like if you buy gems and like say say like a little scenario here maybe this some of you watching this happen to you um scenario is like and i got like a, a piece of hair in my eye or something okay scenario you have your credit like your parents credit card on your account and you know like the itunes password or whatever and you purchase ten dollars worth of gems and then aka mom and dad or later on mom and dad see that a little bit later they're like, oh, why did Jimmy buy $10 worth of gems without my permission? We're gonna call our credit card company to charge this back and because we didn't want this going through. And then they charge back the, that like purchase order and then obviously then you would have that negative amount of gems on your account losing those gems. But that's only the only other circumstance where I saw people with negative gems. I know a few people in my clan that's actually happened to. <laughs> but other than that, what do you guys think of those offers? Would you have liked to seen those offers for the New Year's? I would have loved it because basically you, you, you spend that amount of gems, you get that gems back, and you get a free chest out of it. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't see a better, better deal than that. Um, but other than that, do you think those people that were saying, like, that they bought it, they lost all the rewards or whatever? Because Supercell obviously did take it out. But I don't know. I would just have liked to see it. But kind of controversial. It's like a, a lot of people are saying, oh, it was a glitch that it showed up. Um, 
So we're just gonna call it the Supercell or the tap the New Year's chest offer glitch or the chest I don't even know exactly how I'm gonna title this video, but still either way. It's just odd Usually like I said Supercell and everything is in Clash Royale is pretty good at keeping on top of that stuff So maybe that one just kind of slipped through the cracks or something for giving that weird little offer there because that was a great value for sure and maybe they realized that or something that it was just basically giving a free chest and then they took it out i don't really know exactly what rundown but let me know your thoughts on it um just crazy for sure and kind of sad that mainly it was probably mainly intended for japan obviously um you can see like the picture after buying all of it what it was meant to look like but i'm actually gonna go in here with a balloon on this side we're going up against i don't really know just yet some maybe hog rider it could be a graveyard sadly balloon did not get to the tower that's fine we're getting a little bit of chip damage on that side he could have a hog rider um i don't really want to make prediction predictions honestly the executioner we know is a tough card um but i guess we're just chilling back i don't want to overextend yeah i'm gonna guess it's probably graveyard it could on the off chance be three musketeers but I really don't think so. So I'm gonna throw on the P.E.K.K.A. over here, kind of counteracting what I said I was gonna do, trying to chip away at the left-hand side, but I wanna force him to basically go all out on this side and then go in with like a a balloon push on the other side. But we'll throw on the Hunter here. Like I said, I, it could be goal. I don't really know, man. This guy's battle deck is weird. Very, very weird. And then I saw, basically that Mega, the Mega Minion got dropped, so that's gonna give us my balloon a free path there. I'm actually gonna throw on the arrows here. Take care of most of them and now we don't really have a whole lot to worry about yes the balloon is getting dragged back that's fine throw on the pekka sitting at ted elixir here um i don't know what i want to do I, I really do not know what this guy's battle deck is it's very interesting i've not seen a auto like a win condition card out of him just yet and i shouldn't have thrown my electric wizard like that he's getting drilled by the executioner that was a little bit my bad oops misplay there but I just, I'm kind of appalled here. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Like, this is weird. So, they're on the executioner over here. It's not the executioner, sorry, the uh, the hunter. And now we're going to go in with a P.E.K.K.A. on this side. Maybe he's just waiting for his per perfect opportunity to throw on a graveyard or something. Not entirely sure, but I need to get to that tower. And I'm actually, I don't know, man. Like, what is this? What is this battle deck? <laughs> um, I guess we'll try and go in. Got our balloon ready. We're going in with a hunter balloon. Um, hopefully that's enough. Sadly, the balloon is gonna go for the goblin huts. Jeez, we just need to get some tower damage up in here, man. I have to start cycling my zap and arrows. Is that what it's going down to? Oh, I'm sitting on 10 elixir too. Throw it on the peck on this side because the executioner is just. It's actually kind of hard to deal with. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, Lecture Wizard chilling too. That was actually meant to be the hunter. But it's all right. Going in here. Balloon. He's going to tornado my, my Pekka. Okay. I'm cool with that. Heck is still alive. You got to deal with it somehow. Like, this battle deck is just weird. So I'm going to start cycling the arrows. Try and get some damage on the Pekka. Oh, I didn't even get a hit. My goodness, dude. Is this just going to be a draw? We're not going to let this come to a draw. Throw on the Pekka on this side. Either way, I have to go in with the balloon push. See what he wants to do. He's going to opt to go over there. Well... Let's drop down some defensive stuff. Hopefully he drops his tornado. Thank goodness. What's going to come down here is arrows. And a zap on all that. Trying to get the balloon, just the balloon bomb to the tower. Jeez. Pekka can't even get a hit. My goodness. Well, cycle it is, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is rough. This is really, really rough. I don't think I'm going to be able to cycle fast enough. To zap everything. Go in with all this. Cycle my, my cheap cards. 
30 seconds left. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh my gosh. What is this battle like? Sorry for those of you have to put up with watching this. I literally just need to get to my zap and arrows one more time. Cycle. Come on. What's my cheapest card here? Electro Wizard. Come on, arrows. Come on, arrows. Come on, arrows. Get there. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? <laughs> what was that battle deck? That's embarrassing that I didn't win. Oh yeah, the Mega Knight. I don't know why he didn't throw on the Mega Knight at least once. Because he knew I had the counter with the P.E.K.K.A. But still, <laughs> that was dumb. All right, so I changed my mind a little bit, guys. I'm actually not going to be doing the Grand Challenge. I'm going to switch to doing some regular matches because I want to test out my Giant Battle Axe skills. Because, honestly, like, the Giant is one of my weaker Battle Axe to play. I know I said I like playing heavier Battle Axe, like, obviously, Golem and P.E.K.K.A. and Mega Knight. But the Giant is just kind of, like, an indifferent place for me because I'm usually used to, like, high, like heavy Elixir cards doing damage. And, yes, the I mean, the Giant does damage to the tower, but actually, like, attacking troops. So I just kind of want to practice it a little bit. The Prince is one of the better cards in the game now. So we might as well just get in some matches here. But other than that, like, final thoughts on the chest? I, I don't really know. Um, and I kind of maybe I guess I got a little bit discouraged after that draw match. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So, other than that, though, let's see what happens here. Hopefully, we um, don't lose. We are going up against the level 12. That'd be really, really sad. Uh, he does have a interesting card, though. The Barbarian Hut. I haven't seen the Barbarian Hut in a very long time. Uh, usually, I see this card. When I, when I, basically, right now, what I'm thinking is he has Graveyard. Uh, he also has a Prince. Okay. Okay, fine, sir. How you doing, bro? Well, I don't have the solid, I don't have the really solid counter to this. So I'm probably gonna get destroyed here. Oh my goodness. This prince is gonna wreck me, man. So I'm gonna have to wait till it hits the tower. Throw on the royal ghost. And look at the damage it's doing. Jeez, man. We still have our giant alive. So he invested heavily on that push on the left hand side. And I still have the tower taking. And the wow was probably for the level five royal ghost. Uh, hopefully, though, we take. The other tower as well, the left-hand side tower, so I don't really have to worry about his Prince push anymore. But, Giant's still sliver kind of healthy, and I'm sitting at, I've been sitting at, like, 10 Elixir a lot this, uh, a lot this video. I'm sorry, like, I'm just, my, my head's not fully focused on the game. That's why I'm maybe making a little bit of misplays, mistakes, whatever you want to call it, but... MRH. What's going on, man? Now you gotta deal with my Giant Prince. Sadly, the, the prince doesn't push the giant to go a little faster. Get that, get that, oh, he must have gave up. Well, thank you, sir. Good luck on your, on your future endeavors in Clash Royale trophy pushing. But this is going to be a match here. So this is, I guess, good for my, my trophy cycle uh, to get super magical chest and legendary chest because, as you guys know, super magical chest, super rare now. As opposed to uh, getting it, you can get them in quest and your chest cycle. Not so much in the shop anymore. Unless they gave us those holiday offers, right? The uh, the New Year's Eve offer would have been nice, right? Right, right. I definitely would have bought those. Basically get a free chest and you get your gems back. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. Come on, Clash Royale, bring it back. You, you know you want to. You know you want to give out the world. Well, not the world, but the Clash Royale players some free, some free chest. Well, think of it like if a person doesn't have 2,500 gems... A lot of people would be enticed to buy those gems to get those gems back, but to get that free chest. I mean, so you would still be selling gems. You'd just kind of be losing out on... you basically just be giving away free super magical chest, I guess. Because then they would still retain those gems and be able to use them whenever they want. So maybe it would just... I don't really know. There's... From a business standpoint, I can see why they wouldn't like to do that. But from a player standpoint, I think it would be awesome. But other than that... Going up against the Tesla. Tesla's tough. It is a... The car is awesome. Honestly, I would love driving Tesla. Uh, the Tesla in-game, though, is, is awesome as well. Like, it is one of the best defensive buildings right now. And the bomber. Don't really see the bomber too often, so... How do I want to go about this? Um... Royal Ghost. Prince push right here. Going in. What you got, bro? Well, Prince got to the tower. Then the Royal Ghost got to the tower. <laughs> um, I don't think that could have worked out any better. 
<laughs> he tried to drag it with the Tesla, but it didn't really work. Oh. Well, you do have a balloon here, kind sir. So, we'll try and get away with just the Mega, the Mega Minion. That is probably going to get to my tower. No! It did not. So, uh, is this another case of a dude giving up? It's the intimidation factor. It's the level 5 legendary factor. I think. But, I don't know if he fully gave up. He did activate my King Tower. That might be a good indication, but we'll see. He hasn't. He's not dropping anything. So, let's just do like a Mega Push right here. Just like drop everything behind the giant and just cycle as fast as we can let's go all in here get as many troops behind that bad boy as possible come on come on elixir come faster so we got a couple royal ghosts we got the prince back there and electric wizard let's see how fast this tower goes down going all in usually i'm kind of lax on that i'll just let like one troop go and take them out but it's for the video purposes right you guys get bored watching it go slow but yeah we got the victory there i mean too easy Quick matches back in ladder, but hey, it's because the season reset. We're really low in trophies anyways. Uh, once we get up to a higher trophy range, I'm sure we'll run into uh, some level 13s. Or maybe we won't until next season, towards the end of it. But hey, this might be a mortar. See, archers off the back. Um, I don't know. I can't really tell, and I'm sitting at 10 elixir because I'm scared to drop anything right now. Uh, nah, I don't think so. It's probably hog rider. That would be the most, see, like, that would be the most thing that makes sense in my mind. Or Expo. Could be Expo with we see the Tesla. Definitely something. <laughs> it's gotta be something, right? This guy's playing some sort of card. There it is. So it is Expo. Okay. Well, I'm in a terrible situation right now. Tried to get off my giant drop. And it didn't really work out that well. So my Prince didn't even get his charge to the Expo. But I would say I have a better matchup with this battle deck than I did with my previous battle decks. Like, dude, the P.E.K.K.A. balloon push is amazing. It's just not good against siege battle decks. So hopefully with the giant, it's two less elixir and it only goes straight for those defensive buildings. So hopefully this kind of helps settle a little bit. And hopefully that Royal Ghost goes back to the tower. Please, thank goodness. I thought I was gonna go for the King Tower for a second. So we're doing okay, but we cannot underestimate the P.E.K.K.A. He's gonna basically go all in when I drop down my giant, so. This is kind of scary times right now, too. Plus, he has that Tesla. Uh, I'll put a lot of pressure on him here with the Prince. See what he wants to do. We might see the Tesla out here. We might see the Ice Spirit. And Ice Golem. Kind of forgot about the Ice Golem, not going to lie. <laughs> Homer said that was my bad. But thank goodness the Tesla's down. So I can go in with my Giant, but it'll throw it on the Expo. Um, Let's go for it. Giant Mega Minion. Don't have to worry about Tesla. Where are those archers? Wherever the archers get dropped, that's where the poison goes. Right on top of the expo. That's going to be perfect for us. Because now, what are you going to do with this giant? Bearing down on your tower in a poison. Oh, you're going to do that. You did that. Okay, you countered it. Nice. Well played, sir. We'll give you that one. But yeah, I can definitely tell this is a much better matchup. For sure. Giant on this side. There's no way this expo is going to get shots off on our tower. So... Because after this, it's going to go towards the giant. Um, good luck, sir. It's going to be hefty to deal with. Yes, we had a, it wasn't, this wasn't full-blown all on Expo because his card level for his Expo was level 7. But still, and his tower levels were a little bit lower. But still, you can see, inherently, this battle deck like, can stop Mortar. I should have been running this last end of last season. Because every four matches, I swear, it was like four in a row mortars, one random match. So four, I, was, I, meant, I said that wrong, four to five matches. And we got a giant chest. Four to five matches were against mortar or expo, dude. And it was it was annoying. So if, if, I, if I feel like that ever is, is going to be again where I'm only facing mortars, I'm going back to this battle. Like it, it, it matches up just much better because the Prince can take hits. The giant just goes straight for those defensive buildings and the Royal Ghost itself is still it's, it's strong. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think of those New Year's Eve chests that were mainly released in Japan. And I guess they, I guess they got taken away. Some people said they're at negative gems because they bought the offers. They lost the rewards. And we haven't heard well word from Supercell if those are true or not. So we'll see. But I don't know. I definitely do believe that those chests were in game. And they did take them away. But I don't know about the gem part and card part. But we'll see. So on that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully we get a word from Supercell as to what happened. I don't know. I just hope 
Hopefully soon they get those offers back, maybe. Maybe they just give everyone a free chest because of that. But hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys later.